In this demo, we will show some typical Xtreme-less administrative tasks, after which a user will be able to use resources of a certain VO. The grid administrator working on core node has multiple status pages at his disposal. This is the ExtremeFS status page, where he can see, for example, that there exists a global home volume of a certain grid user. Then there is the Scalaris management interface. Scalaris is a peer-to-peer -peer overlay used for managing resources. And you can see here which nodes form this grid. We have core, which we're working on now, then client and resource. Now, our user is working on the client node, and he has some files on his local home directory. He must copy these files to his ExtremeFS volume so that all the resources will be able to access these files. Let's see what's in these files. The job description file simply tells to run hello.sh script in bash, and the output should go to hello.out. And the script uh, simply prints some status, the host name of the resource it's running on, the local account under which it is running, and the current directory. The user would like to use a graphical interface to submit jobs, but he can't because he doesn't have the required certificate with which he would prove that he is a member of the VO. So he will apply for VO membership by first logging into the user part of the VO management application. He asks to join a VO. He is not a member of any VO yet, and he would like to join demo VO. The request was submitted, and now it's the VO administrator's job to either approve or deny him. So the administrator also logs in He sees the request by Marian to join demo VO, and in this case, he will approve it. Now he also has to add Marian to the group users and role user, so that Marian will be able to do whatever the uh, policy for this role and group allows him. Now the user can refresh and see that he's already part of this VO. And now he can get a, the certificate that proves the membership. He would like to certificate a certificate proving his membership in demo VO. He will protect it with a passphrase and he requests for a long term certificate. So the certificate will be saved into the appropriate directory. And now he also needs the, to download the private key file and move it to the correct location. Now the job submission interface works, and the user can simply copy the job description here, submit job, and run it. The job is done, of course, it's not a demanding job, and let's see the results. The results should appear on the, his ExtremeFS home volume. That's right, they did appear here. 
So the job was run on resource xlabc under a dynamically created account with the ID 60,000 and the username equal to the user's global ID. And the directory in which uh, the job ran is the mount point of his XtremeFS global volume, which enabled the job to write the results to this volume. 